Welcome teachers to sweep number eight, the last one in the first module. So this is the cumulative uh, sweep for the addition number facts for year three. And in this sweep, we're looking at the two remaining facts, that is seven plus five and seven plus four. The beauty of the strategies approach is that you're left with a very, very small number of facts when you've used appropriate strategies. So there's just these two left, including the turnarounds, of course. So this won't take very long. Um, and then there's some revision facts to do for the rest of the week, followed last of all by the post test, which I'll talk about in just a moment. So we'll start with 7 plus 5 using a double 10 frame. This, of course, is using a rows arrangement. We filled up a row and then have the remaining uh, facts above 5 there and then a row of 5. It's pretty easy to see that if these three counters were moved across there, you'd have a group of 10 and a group of 2 making 12. As always, we want the students to visualize that um, first rather than moving the counters. Let's just have a quick look and see what this would look like using a pairs arrangement. I don't like it quite as much, but it's still legitimate. It still shows the number relationship. So this time the three will be these three red ones here that will move up to there. Again, we'll have two left in the ones column, as it were, showing the answer is 12. If we were adding seven and four, or four and seven, um, of course in the turnarounds we're still going to start with the seven as the larger number first. Seven plus four, this time we've got to move three, so we would move these three counters up there. Or with the rows arrangement, again you can see these three counters need to move across to there to make the answer 11. The other resource we recommend for these remaining facts is, of course, the open number line. Starting with the first one, 7 plus 5, here's 7. We're going to hop to 10 as a round number along the way. Of course, that is a hop of 3 or plus 3. If we've used up 3, we're trying to make a hop of 5 eventually. How much extra is there in here? Of course, this is 2 plus 2, so therefore this resulting number will be 12 and it would look a lot like that with the 7 plus 4 number facts. So as I said just these two number facts then some revision facts that'll be for three worksheets and then the fourth one is the post test. This is an occasion for students to um, demonstrate what they're capable of having spent the last seven and a half weeks practicing strategies and revising number facts. So we really want students to do as well as possible. We want them to be able to demonstrate that they have indeed memorized these number facts. So this is different from what we say when we do a pretest, where we say, don't stress about it. Don't panic if you can't work out an answer. We're just seeing what you already know. It's for collecting baseline data. In the post test, we're looking at seeing what students have achieved over the previous seven and a half weeks. And so we want them to do their best and we have a level of expectation that they will be able to answer all the questions. You can tell them there are no questions in the post-test that we haven't done before over the last seven weeks. We've done hundreds of questions. This is just a test to see how well you go on some of those same questions. So that's it for this module. Um, I'm glad that we're up to this point in the program. Next time we start with sweep number nine and we're looking at subtraction number facts. See you then.